the British Isles, the Republic of Ireland, and the United Kingdom, including Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Your objectives. On a blank map of Europe, you must be able to identify the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. On a blank map of Europe, you must also be able to identify the North Sea and the English Channel. You must explain the difference between the United Kingdom and Great Britain. You can must tell what's happening to Gaelic languages. You must be able to describe the physical geography of the different countries of the British Isles and compare the population density in different parts of the British Isles. You should be able to identify what the euro is and explain the United Kingdom's choice whether or not to use it. Gaelic is a group of languages including Irish, Highland Scots, and Welsh, among others. The pound is the currency of Great Britain. A moor is a wasteland of bushes and weeds. Great Britain is an island, not a nation. The United Kingdom is a nation, not an island. London is the largest city in Western Europe. The British Isles are in the northwest of Europe. Here. On their west is the Atlantic Ocean, and on their east is the North Sea. They are separated from the continent of Europe by the English Channel. The British Isles. Two great islands exist in this region. Great Britain and Ireland, as well as many smaller ones such as the Shetland Islands, the Orkneys, the Hebrides, the Isle of Man, the Isle of Wight, and the Channel Islands. Two nations also exist in this region. There's the United Kingdom, and there's the Republic of Ireland. Although some people use the word Ireland to refer to either the island or the nation, the nation should properly be called the Republic of Ireland. Here's where it gets a little complicated. The United Kingdom was once three different kingdoms, and people still use the names of the old countries. We have Scotland, we have England, and we have Wales. Let's talk about Scotland first. Scotland. Scotland. Scotland's divided into two parts the highlands and the islands. Some people divide them into three, the central plains. Uh, the highlands and islands are mountainous and less populated. Uh, you might see views like this. The highlands and islands are not good for farming. They're covered with moors, a weedy wasteland. The mountains are cut through with deep, narrow lakes called lochs, with the most famous being Loch Ness, and also the largest in size. The traditional language of the Highlands is a Gaelic language. This language is very different from English. Although the lowlands are smaller in area, most of the people live here. You have cities like Edinburgh and Glasgow. They speak a dialect of English called Scots English, which most people can understand most of the time. This map shows the populated areas of Scotland. A good part of Scotland's economy depends on the sea. There's fishing and oil in the North Sea, which is here between Scandinavia, the Netherlands, and the UK. In ancient days, the Scots were organized into clans. Each clan had its own tartan, or pattern, of plaid. 
Haggis is a traditional Scottish dish. It's made from the innards and oatmeal cooked in a sheep's stomach. Although I understand today the sheep's stomach thing is on its way out. Scottish also eat fish such as salmon and their famous Angus beef. Scotland's the home of the bagpipe and of golf. Although it's possible that neither one of them originated there. Not only do Highland Scots speak Gaelic, but varieties of Gaelic are spoken in Ireland and Wales as well. Mostly older people speak it. Uh, outside of Ireland, these languages seem to be dying out. Watch this uh, film about the Gaelic language from the Discovery Channel. Celtic people of the British Isles, the ones who speak Gaelic, are also the source of most of the world's redheads. The Republic of Ireland. Ireland is a mostly green land with low hills. Cliffs at the edge. What is the source of the Irish economy? This graph is called an exploded pie graph because the parts are pulled away from each other. As we can see, most of the Irish economy is based on agriculture and the largest next sections are based on manufacture of food, beverages, fishing, all food oriented. Uh, the map shows the number of adults employed in agriculture with that being the least in the central uh, eastern part. We'll talk about that. Watch this hill of Tara. Good. The population of Ireland is highest in the east, nearest England. Having such a large population and being so close, England is their greatest trading partner. Uh, the people who speak Gaelic tend to be away from this population center and in the west. Uh, here's a map showing people that predominantly speak Irish. The language is shrinking. Although all children are required to learn it in school, English is the most common language spoken in the home. Hypothesize why these three statements might be connected. And watch Ireland's geographic challenge from Stratford Video. England. England's the center of the United Kingdom's economy and one of the most powerful in Western Europe. London is the largest city in Western Europe. Right down there. This is Parliament and Big Ben. Big Ben is not the name of the clock or the tower but rather it is the name of the bell inside the tower. Here's the Tower Bridge and a London pub. For centuries, each country in Europe had its own currency. England called its currency the pound. Some Europeans thought they should all use the same currency and they invented the euro. Many Western European countries rushed into the plan and got rid of their own currency and began using the euro. The United Kingdom didn't quite trust the plan and they kept their own currency, the pound. And many of them today are glad they did. The population of England is concentrated around London and in the Midlands with cities like Manchester and Leeds. Uh, even in the less populated areas, however, such as Cornwall and in the north, there are more densely populated than Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Here's a land use map. Compare it to the population map. And watch the United Kingdom's geographic challenge. Typical English food could include fish and chips, bangers and mash, 
pork pie, and even eel pie.